it has completely disintegrated here. This is the new one here. Welcome back. Repair job on today. This is a yard scraper, probably more of a silage pusher. A farmer down the road dropped it up to me. Actually, a neighbor I borrowed a skid steer off or hired a skid steer off, so I kind of have to fix it for him. You'll see the problem here, it is in absolute bits. You see the rubbers in bits. The frame is completely damaged. I'm gonna make a new frame out of these nice galvanized channels, six by three channels. So I'm gonna use these lugs, I'm gonna reuse these because there's a bit of making on them. I'm gonna cut them off the gas, we'll get to it. So I'm using the gas, the oxypropane, to cut off these lugs. I'll just reuse these. They're in perfectly good nick. Save a bit of time and money. No farmer will complain at that.
We'll try a wood boring bit, see how it goes. Just going to stick a pilot hole in from the back because the hole is small this side can't drill it So another little job with this machine, the auxiliary controls. So that is basically the flow and return pipes on this machine that powers an auxiliary implement, such as a shear grab, road brush, whatever it is that uses a hydraulic flow and return. The little switch that controls that on this machine is a little bit 
poor, we'll say. We'll call it poor. Give you a look at it here. It's given trouble. I've replaced it twice. This machine has about a thousand hours on it. Why is it poor? It basically, it sits on this joystick. So it sits on this joystick here and you move it with your thumb. I'll give you a look at that in a second. The problem is these machines don't actually have a door on it. So there's no cover. So unless you're keeping them in a the shed all the time, this is a farm machine. So it could be outside, you could be working it in the rain. These little switches do not like moisture. They just fall apart. It's very pricey. 500 quid from New Holland for a genuine part. Crazy money. I'll show you the switch now in a minute. I have managed to source it, got a few codes off it, managed to source it online. It's identical, same brand, same switch. Fitted it on, as I say, the second switch, about 200 quid replaces it, so it's not bad. Less than half the price of the genuine part, but identical in every way. This is the back of the lever. I have to open these screws, get them out now. So it just pops out here. Now, so we're inside the cab. It's a little bit cramped here. This is the thumb switch here, left and right to open and close the shield grab. So you can see it's actually falling apart. This is what it should look like. So it's a, it's a, it returns to center. It's a simple little thumb switch left and right. So you can see it's actually disintegrated, falling apart. It's in bits. So we get this new one stuck on now. It has completely disintegrated here. This is the new one here. That's what it should look like. I'm just stripping back this wire here because the joint and connector that I'm using is, it's a little gel filled push connector, waterproof, very good for agricultural conditions. Um, I find them good, but this wire is just a little bit thick to fit in, so I have to strip it. Normally you don't have to strip them. i to remember to put it into this. So it's quite simple, it just actually locks into this housing. That's it, locked in. Next job, get the wires joined. So I'm not sure if you can see that, but when I close this orange tab in, squeeze it in with the pliers, it's actually little forks inside it that grip the wire, and you see the gel coming out there. It uh, stops it corroding the joint and keeps it all waterproof and sealed up. That's the connection made. Quite good connectors for this job. Good for trailer lights as well. You see, you can actually, they're transparent as well, so you can actually see the two wires coming up, up to the top. Yeah, simple as that. That's three good connections made, all waterproof, corrosion resistant. So the wire's just a nice length to wrap around and bundle in here. Now that's the switch fitted, open and close on the shear grab here, we'll give it a go in a second. Not convinced this switch is the best idea on an agricultural machine, especially when rain can blow in. Moisture in here is a problem, uh, not getting very long out of the switch. So we'll start this thing here. So if you have problems with uh, one of these on a skid steer, on a New Holland skid steer, drop me an email and I'll help you out if I can at all. So that's another little job done, switch fitted, 
another happy farmer, hopefully, if there's such a thing. Of course there is, we're all happy. Look, thank you very much to everybody for supporting the channel. It's very positive feedback. We're approaching 10,000 subs now. I've just opened my sheep school shop. Link in the description. And here is the link now. Sheepschoolshop.com If you want to order some stuff for Christmas, get to it. Because this is new territory for me. So it might take a little bit of time to get deliveries and all that sorted before Christmas. But we'll do the best we can. Thanks for your support. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a like. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.